To control this thing, you have to control your subconscious mind, mm -hmm. which is like creating uh, your mind defocusing into something else. So you have to be focused on and you need to know for what reason you are here in one particular workshop or seminar. So you have to be focused on with your writing pads and you have to, you, you, no matter what, you have to have fun. You have a process and a mechanism right. to bring it back. Absolutely. Because I say that if you try to remember that thing and try to listen to me at the same time, right. it, it chances are door. you're going to miss both. Absolutely. There's an old saying that a man who catches two rabbits catches how many? N nothing. Neither. Exactly. So capture that and then come right back. Right. And then have fun. Okay. So s to summarize, stay present, take full responsibility for your success. That means bring, be become prepared with your journal, notepad, participate, and then have fun. True. And have this device, one sheet of paper, to capture your unwanted stray thoughts in there because they must be important. Even right. they're simple, I believe they're important, but just put it there, come right back. Exactly. So at the end of the day, like you are totally responsible for your success. Y you can't blame any single person for your failure. Like as Mr. Salam said, like, like no matter what, you need to enjoy and you need to have fun to get something to have the maximum out of it, and at the same time, be a uh, full participated on this project. You know what? This is this is sort of wisdom. Right. Is I really don't know whether that's right or wrong. To take full responsibility and not blame someone. Exactly. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but what I teach is not right or wrong. What I teach is empowering versus limiting. I found that if I say that I'm fully responsible, it empowers me. Right. And that's what I'm after. And at the end of the day, that motivates you as well. Exactly. That's okay. Right. So on that note, uh, like, what's your favorite creed to start your day to, uh, to begin with? Like everybody has got their own philosophy and the ideology to start their own day. Mm -hmm. So for an entrepreneur, it's really important to have a fresh mindset to start his day or her day. So what's your favorite creed on that? And one of my mentors, Grandmaster Jun Ri, okay. and you can Google him, Jun Ri, and you'll find that he's the gentleman credited for bringing martial arts to the West. He was my martial arts mentor, and he gave me this creed And back in 1990, and I, I met him for the first time, and he's just like a, he was in the Bruce Lee movie, Enter the Dragon with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and he's five and Kareem is like, it's, you know, seven foot. Okay. And so, and then he, like, nobody messes with Junri. He gave me this creed and I fell in love with every word of it. And it goes like, every morning when I wake up, my creed is to build true confidence through knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, and strength in the body, to keep friendship with one another and to build a strong and happy community never fight to achieve selfish ends but to develop might for right wow might for right and so every word means something and i strive every day to do it you have to internalize it so that i don't have need to look at it i haven't memorized it i have internalized it and that's a difference that's what i call the 4 a.m test that if i wake you up in your deepest coma at 4 a.m in the morning and i said what's your creed you should be able to tell me right like that that's when you know it. Yes. That's when you know it. Exactly. And, and creed is really important for everybody to have a clear mindset what you are trying to do actually. Hopefully that this there's more than the creed. What I call is DMR, the daily morning ritual. For the first time I've actually created an entire session on DMR. And DMR your first hour in the morning when you open your eyes, the first hour is known as the golden hour. Wow. What you do that hour, everything is deliberate, will set the tone of the whole day. And all successful people have rituals. Okay. And so I share with you my rituals, and my rituals is nothing, but what I'm good at is collecting the best from everyone. Great. <laughs> and make one. True. And that's what I, because I have the privilege of meeting successful people every day and I just take the best okay. and the best and make one okay. eclectic. 
So like for the youth, they always want to be successful, rich and famous. So what it takes to be a successful person or successful entrepreneur on their life? What's your opinion on that? It's, it's almost so simple in, in one sense that I'm almost afraid that they'll think it's too simple. But the f this is the overriding philosophy. First, not just be successful. Anything you want in life, make it a study. Make it a study. Okay. Let it be your passion that you're going to find out everything, anything and everything. I'm a student of success. That's what I do. I study successful people. And my mentor taught me that. And that was his thing, is to study successful people. And if you want to become successful, like you said, that whether it's age has no relevance. But when that awareness happens, that you want success, study success. Then make success your obligation, your responsibility, your sworn duty, not to your, only yourself, to your children, to your family, to your spouse. That you, every one of us, don't utilize our full potential. So, but if success is your duty, your obligation, when you make success your duty, your obligation, that's when things start happening. Okay. So this is the foundational decision that you have to make, and then you can go from there on or what are the nitty gritty stuff. For more updates and more transformational contents, please click the subscribe button and you'll get great life-changing information. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode.